So before this video begins, I just want to say, I just made a Patreon, so if you could do me a huge favor, go over there, throw me anything you want, you know, hey, I, I like it all. I am going to be uploading another part of this tutorial exclusively to Patreon, where I'll show you how to do the pretty cheaty stuff like ESP and animation changes and all that stuff. So, you know, if you want to see that, on top of that, I don't really have a lot of subscribers, so do me a favor, subscribe. All right. Let's get on with it. So starting from the very beginning, if you look in the description, you'll see that I included this folder here and it has all the shit I use for most of the shit I use for modding, like NIF scope and Bethesda archive extractor, the Baca file tool and all that. The XWM is for sound editing and all that. So the first thing we're going to start with is a super, super simple model edit. And in this case, I think let's replace something. So what we're going to do is open up Bethesda Archive Extractor and then we're going to navigate to our data folder for Fallout 76 and to edit a model we would go into meshes which is going to be here and you just find your mesh. In this case I think let's do a camping table. Here's our camping table. Now I'm going to go ahead and make a new folder and we'll call it test. T t there you go. That's the name and then I'm going to click that Click the top one here, because otherwise everything's going to be highlighted. And you're going to just extract everything. Click that first, so nothing's highlighted. So you can only grab the table. And then I'm just going to send that to test, and we have our table. Now, if we open up NIF Scope, what you're probably going to end up seeing on your end, if you're doing this for the first time, is this is going to be a pink table. So let's go ahead and get the setup out of the way. You go to Settings, Resources. Down here, find Fallout 76, browse. We're gonna go to local disk, 86, Steam, Steam apps, common, Fallout 76, and data. And that's gonna be our folder for that. Fallout 4, ignore that I have that. That's just so I could put the PTS stuff in it. We're gonna click apply, and <laughs> I'm going to break it, and then I fixed it. After that, we're gonna go ahead and click on archives, and we're gonna go to Fallout 76. We're gonna do add archives. It's going to take us to the data folder. If it doesn't, then you know exactly where to go to get that. We just saw that. And these are all different mods, but as soon as you see this, you grab that, scroll down, hold shift, press. And so now that we have everything highlighted, we're going to click open. And then it'll load it all in. Once you do that, go ahead and restart NIF scope, and you should see the table with its all its this so let's say we want to take this table and turn it into something random like a scrap box so now we're going to go in we're going to search scrap instead and we're going to grab this scrap stash so we've got this the stash box open and we see that's a stash box okay pretty simple now the simplest way to do this would be to say fuck that copy this over or just drag it into the, the camping folder, right? Because we have our meshes model camping. We put that in there. Like, we have it. All we would technically do is copy that name, delete it, and then paste the name. Ah, not like that. Control-A, paste the name. There you go. Then we would open up Baca, which now we're going to set Baca up. So what we're going to do for this is go to Paths. Select Fallout 76 path. We're going to do the same thing where we do local disk, x86, Steam, Steam apps, common, but this time just click Fallout 76, do select folder. We're going to click manual data folder right here. And then in, in my settings here, just make sure we, we copy these. All right. It should be like this by default, but I don't remember. And we're going to have that going. Tool, make sure you have Fallout 76 selected as the game. Then we're going to do select data folder, desktop, test, test. Did you say that? Yeah, that's it. So now we see our thing here is my, my path, camping, camping table. We do create archive and then we go to the Baca output and we see this here. Now, what I do and what I recommend you do if you're going to start making a bunch of mods, I just rename this to test, drag it to my data folder. The reason I rename it to test is if I go to my custom mini, you'll see that at the end of my little load chain, I have tests down here. So that way I can just quickly test a mod. Anyway, so we'll go into the game and we'll see how it worked out. All right, so now that we're in game, 
we can see that I have to go to tables. And that little blue piece of shit is now a scrap box. Now, with that said, it's not going to work. It's not actually technically a scrap box. So, this is just the simplest form of replacement. Kind of like this. Look at him go. So, yeah. It's the same idea. It's just replacing an existing model with another existing model. Super, super basic. So, obviously, if we're going to be changing a model, we probably don't want to do that. Realistically, people are going to be like, oh, I want to add something, like another model, to this model. What, like a stash box desk ornament, right? This is a camping table again. So here I've opened the scrap box army version, which, by the way, if you use your context clues, theoretically, you could just replace the original stash box with this one, and then you could have the army one without even technically having it, you know. But... In this case, what we're going to do is essentially make a little desktop ornament, <laughs> right? Super stupid, but could be neat. So we're going to try to find the tri shape for this entire thing, which it seems to be there's a lid. Yeah, there's two of them. So we're going to copy this copy branch over. And then on this node, we're going to paste that branch. And then we're going to do the same for the lid copy branch and then paste that bad boy over and we have the lid we're gonna take this thing and i'm gonna make this thing like nice and small and then i'm gonna move it that's good okay so now we got it on the desk and let's move it back a bit and to the left so that's too much to the left you can see i'm i'm doing this a pretty poor way but whatever let's move it back a bit maybe like 10 and i want it to be in the corner So now we got it on the corner and then let's rotate it a bit. So now we've rotated it the right way. And now we got this tiny little dude on the edge of the desk. He totally doesn't have a lid. So we got to move that lid there. In this case, we need to match the scale of it. So 0.2 would be the right scale. And we'll generally get the area by doing 56. In this case, we probably have to do more like 62 or some shit. Move it up like 69. Ironically, that's like the perfect height. It's the funny number. Look at that. And then we're going to just match the... Uh, general area so 20 here seemingly negative 20 there and we can rotate on this axis 45 degrees oof okay so i got it to line up that was uh annoying but now we have a little desk ornament of a like a i feel like a cat would knock that thing off the edge it's kind of kind of out there but hey it's on there so now we would save it which in this case i still have it in the area so i'm gonna save it as that then we would go in game by doing the Baca file tool. In this case, since we have the original thing already set, we would just do refresh data folder, create archive. I'm gonna rename it to test, and we're gonna drag it to data. We're gonna go into game and see how it did. And so now, if we go in game, we see my table has a super tiny little scrap box on it. Look at that, isn't that neat? You know, it's a little ornament. I don't know why you'd want that, but it's there. Super specific ornaments, like for example, a retextured armor workbench that has armor on it or a weapons workbench that is just a little what you call it like one of those little particle board things that has the holes in it and there's like weapons hanging on it like that would be neat so we go do that yeah it's easy now you know how to do it it would just be an addition maybe you could even get functionality out of it super super basic so for the textures i'm going to do something a little different i'm actually going to navigate to the pts i'm going to go to the data in there and then i'm going to find these update textures and we'll do this one. And let's just search Nuga. Okay, unlucky. We'll do it again, but for the other one. Here we go. So now we see some pretty cool stuff like power armor. This seems to be excavator, Hellcat, Nuka Cola. Like we have armor skins that are unreleased. And in this case, it seems to be a lot. So that's neat. Uh, Nuka Quantum even. There's a, there's a new Collectron. There's a new Collectron coming out. Some armor, some combat armor coming out you know lots of stuff that you guys can fuck with in here lots of stuff jeez backpack flares billboards we could do billboard if you want but i don't know let's do super 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 simple replacement like we did last time now in this case we kind of already know how to do it if we open up la photoshop which is what i use i don't know if there's any other programs for editing a dds file but if there is you know hey so here's a jetpack i know it doesn't look like one <laughs> but 
the jetpack and maybe I'm doing it inefficiently, but this is how I edit all of my textures. I paint them like this in Photoshop. So like all this rust and stuff, I would make that look clean. You know, all this, I'd make this look cleaner, blah, blah, blah. It seems like a lot of work, but if you isolate all the parts, it's really just as simple as doing a hue and saturation layer and colorizing it. But we're not going to go into that. What we will do is how to actually edit a thing. So in this case, so here we go. Here's a new gun. This, I assume this is the handmade. There's a hunting rifle coming out, Nuka-Cola Classic. So let's do that. Let's, let's grab the hunting rifle. So we're going to call this hunting rifle new. We're going to extract that to hunting rifle new. And now we have our new hunting rifle. And then I'm going to make a new folder called hunting rifle replace. And then in this case, I'm going to find, I assume it's going to be four. It's going to have the hunting rifle in it. We got some of it in six. So I'm going to grab what little of it is in here. And I'm going to go to hunting rifle replace, get the rest of the hunting rifle. I found it. So here is the hunting rifle. Okay. Pretty sure we got it all. So we have our hunting rifle and our hunting rifle, but this one is the data mined one. And this one is the old one. So we'll have to go into that and we'll figure this all this out. But the super basic stuff is we see this 308 in mags, Nuka Cola classic 308 in mags. So all, all I'm going to do is just follow this as it goes. And I'm going to rename what is here and what isn't. So I'm going to go here, control A, control C, right click here, control A, control V, and it's going to replace that. And I'm going to do that again. I know. It's tedious. I'm sure there's a tool for this that I haven't found yet. This is the simplest form of replacement for textures. And we're just going to go and we're going to match all the names to what they would technically be. So now we, we hit a block here. We can't continue now. Look, this is fluted barrel. This is muzzle break. So let's find in here, where is the muzzle break? There's no muzzle break. So in this case, what we would go ahead and do, what I would do, right? Just delete the fucking muzzle break. <laughs> Next, look at that. Now we're on the fluted barrel. And now we're going to copy and replace. It's going to go down there. Whatever. We still know the order. Fluted barrel. Replace. We'll do it again. In this case, we, we're looking for the N, right? Which is right here. So we're going to do that one. And I'm going to go ahead and do all this and we'll see how it looks in game. Okay, so I've got most of it replaced. But we are running into this one thing right here. Where we see these four that's a tactical stock but then this one it's in a folder called tactical stock so we'll open this up we see some stuff we see bipod okay so <laughs> bye pod and then we're gonna make a new folder i'm gonna rename it to tactical stock today so tactical stock and then we're gonna take this these three four i mean doop, and we can rename them so i'm gonna do that let's start from the beginning the hunting rifle new hunting rifle replace textures weapons hunting rifle textures, ATX, weapons, hunting rifle. You can see the problem. And so what we're going to do is shloop. Not, not that kind of shloop. More like that kind of shloop where we take the whole thing. And then I'm going to actually first do a shloop here where I just delete everything. And then I'm going to do a shloop here and drag it over because I'm lazy. And <laughs> so many better ways to do that. Like you should probably back all this stuff up or whatever. I don't know. Don't give a fuck. And we're going to do this. Select data folder, desktop, hunting rifle, replace, we have all our shit now, and it's not in an ATX folder. Create archive, baka, textures, test data, and then we go in game and test it. All right, so I know damn well that I don't have a hunting rifle, so I'm going to have to go into the crafting bench and make one. But we should see, look at that. We got a hunting rifle. And now if we go to modify and we grab that wrong one, hunting rifle you see let's do a long barrel like <laughs> make it the best one, level one hunting rifle in the game standard stock let's do i like the idea of doing one of these wooden ones man so there's a stabilized stock it's a new one there's a true stock look at that man standard magazine let's do uh these big ones and then we'll do the scope because we put a scope on here. Look at that. Muzzle. We put a suppre new suppressor. Put a suppressor on there. And there we have it. So now if we go in the game, we got a retextured data mined gun. Isn't that neat? Like that's, that's so cool that we have that now. And it took relatively no time. And this is an unreleased skin. This is not in the game yet. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the Nexus. And uh, yeah, 
you guys know where it came from. That's that's the basics of editing. Uh, well, replacing textures. I'll sh you. I kind of already went over uh, lightly how to edit them. In my case, I explained Photoshop. So, you know, just paint them. <laughs> that's what I do. <laughs> Look, there's definitely a, a better way out there. I'm sure there is, but I haven't found it. Okay, I'm a lazy motherfucker. So. I take the easy way out on things. I don't think I'm going to cover more on this. I'm going to go ahead and start recording the Patreon video where, like I said, I'll go over the actual good stuff, like making cool stuff, like how I did this player ESP, for example, or uh, bag ESP, I guess, you know, anything, any ESP in general. Like, I don't know if you've seen my vendor ESP, but if we go to a player vendor, you will. Oh, hey, while we're loading, see, that's that's a skin that I data mined recently. From the, it's a Lincoln, it's a Lincoln's repeater from Fallout 3 on the lever action. Unfortunately, nobody ever uses that fucking gun, but hey. <laughs> so look, here we go. So right away, we can see exactly where their vendors are because I have that as a thing. And so you see that? I know exactly where it is. And I'll show you exactly how I make stuff like that the most efficient way because there's a couple ways to do it. A couple of people I know who do that stuff. No shout out my boy Sarge. But, uh, and of course, Rigel, who, none of this would be possible without Rigel. I don't know if you've seen his mods, like, oh, oh, Winter in Appalachia oh, and oh, Spring oh, in Appalachia and all over the fucking ESP mods, died. practically. <laughs> but, like, that guy, he's, he's terrible. letting me lighten his ass up on Discord all the time and he's helping me out. So, big shout out to that guy. But, um, yeah. Patreon time. Thanks for watching.